I'm Johnny Carter, and today we're at the 2024 British Shooting Show. This year's show promised to be bigger and better than ever. With more space, more stands, and more product launches than ever before. Keep those naked videos coming, I love it. <laughs> So today, Brian, Big Mike and myself are gonna spend the day looking for the best guns and gear of the year. You got three new guns, that's cool. We have, yes, three new guns this year. This model is ATA's flagship competition model, yeah. just under a thousand pounds. It's definitely gonna be a Marmite gun. Not everybody is gonna like it. It's gonna be bloody Vegemite. Welcome to the finale of the Gun Review Season 2 and the best British shooting show ever. Welcome back to the British Shooting Show, guys. Are you excited? I'm very excited. 2024, bigger venue. Look at the size of this place it's this year. It's huge, cool. isn't it? We got here yesterday for a quick look around, but the show's about to open in half an hour, and we've already had a sneak peek at, like, 20, 25 brand new gun launches. That's some good stuff yeah, out there. There's a lot of new guns come out it's this year. There's a lot of stuff on display. And we are looking forward to sharing it with you guys. Let's go. go. Let's go. Should we look at Browning before it opens? I think so. It'd be yeah. rude not to, wouldn't it? Let's Beat go. the crowds. I like it. I, I like it. it. I was looking forward to seeing it. And I, I like what they've done with it. Definitely things that are worthy of note. The balancing weight system needs to be fitted. It is very front heavy without the balancing weights. And yeah. all of the, all guns with stocks like this are always going to be forward heavy. Yeah. But at least it's, yeah. it's ready for it. Which yeah. is You've better than the synergy of old. So yes. that's cool. Yeah, definitely. And the price isn't as bad as I thought. It's £2,000 retail, which means you be able to hunt around for it, you might be able to get it a bit of a deal. Yeah. I love the grips. I do. Like, that's nice. Yeah. Very good texture. It's got some nice little points on it. It's a pretty thing as well. I like the Mercedes-Benz thing. Yeah. yeah, it's got some nice points to it and it's got like John Browning's signature uh, and the coordinates of the, the factory in Belgium. I'd go as far as to say it's got a lot going on and it might be too much for some people, but it could also, they could have failed and made it very unexciting yeah, yeah. definitely because it is yeah. just a black plastic gun and that's you got to do something to make it kind of pop and they've done a good amount to make this pop well like we said before it's probably one of the best workhorses of all time the 525 and now mm. they've just made it easier to use out in the field you're not going to have to worry about it especially if you're doing a lot of pigeon shooting that counts for a lot right it's not something i would personally take on the game day it's a strange thing i kind of assumed it would be a sporter yeah 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 but i'm also a donut so well, yeah, I didn't want to say that, but yeah, they have they put it as a, a the game market, I suppose. But to me, it's more of a pest control gun. Yeah, it's, I'd say that or clay shoot. You could use it's good wild fanning gun. Yeah, you could yeah. use it for clay shoot. Plastic, still proves a lot. With the balance and weights in, I reckon it make a great clay gun. Yeah, it's not a world championship style thing, but I put it more in the all round, like the universal sporter, like the yeah. Maruka used yeah. to yeah. make. Yeah, oh, definitely. You could use that for anything. It is plastic. I think it's a win. I, I, I think it's a win for Browning, yeah, especially yeah. with the adjustable stock on it. It's definitely going to be a Marmite gun. Not everybody is going to like it. We've seen it on the internet. Can we have a look? You can indeed, yes. Yeah, do you want to come and have a look around here? Go. Here we have Victor's Arc. I mean, that is a fine looking thing, isn't it? Pretty. What's Arc code? Arc Contemporary. So it's complete design change from Guarini's traditional, you know, game scenes, side plates, etc., into something that's a bit unique. Modern. Modern, yeah. It's very modern. Modern. You know, you guys as a company have been making guns that look cool as all hell for a while. Yep. This is another step in that direction of losing some traditional looks, although Absolutely. you obviously have the traditional looking guns. Yeah, as I say, it's a complete step away from, from the usual. So underneath, it's an Invictus? It is an Invictus, yeah, based on a standard Invictus, one action really. So you've got all the features the standard Invictus yeah. has, um, just with a slightly different aesthetic to it. What do you think, mate? It's very nice, it's definitely pushing into the future, isn't it? Do you really like it? I like that it's different. See, There's the, something about it. The photos were look, made it look super loud. I walked yeah. past it twice and didn't even see it. No, it's subtle, but it still pops at the same time. It's surprisingly subtle for something that is pretty red. Yeah, it, it is pretty red, yeah. yeah Guarini traditionally have quite liked their red, as you know, cases were red for quite a long time, so um, they uh, like their Italian flair, don't they? Yeah. 
Available in all the same stock and barrel specs as all the other Invictuses? Uh, available at the moment as a Sporter and an Ascent. Okay. Um, for the time being. And the future? Who knows? Who knows? How much? Six for a standard Sporter, six, six, nine, five for an Ascent. Oh, okay, so um, five, six hundred pounds more than a standard Near Invictus enough. 3. Near enough. It's not. Uh, for an Invictus 3, now. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it's actually. Yeah, it just comes underneath Invictus 3. It is not much more than a Invictus 1. No. No, but as I say, based on Invictus 1 action. Yeah, so which is. That's yeah, surprising. There's a lot more work to make that than Invictus 1. Yeah. There is. I there think is. It represents great value for the looks. So we hope so. That's what we're aiming for. We don't want it, you know, it doesn't want to be pitched too high for us, so. It's a winner. This is cool. This is a nice update. Yeah, yeah. A new addition to the range, so obviously standard Julia action, uh, ladies' gun, but scaled down for a 20 ball. I can yeah. see why they're so popular. I do think it's a good looking thing, and I really like it in the case hardens instead of the black. It's yeah. a nice addition. Yeah. yeah. And everything looks better in 20 gauge. Absolutely. Smaller, yeah, absolutely. sleeker, nicer. A 20 gauge is always a cooler looking thing, but I, I kind of like this look anyway. It, it looks better squished. Yeah. I think it's nice that it's different, that it is for the female market. The I know a fair few guys that shoot these though, so... Uh, yeah. Are we going to see more of the Case Color Harden one here now, or which is the new standard? Uh, just Color Case Harden, yeah. Oh, black one's yeah, gone? Yeah, black one's gone, yeah. Oh, that was... We made the executive decision that I think Color Case Harden just looks it, a bit more... It's definitely it, it, a bit pretty. More elegant. A hundred percent. I kind of like the black one. No, it's not available. <laughs> I remember saying, I wish we had the Case Color Harden one when we had the black one. Right, that's awesome. Final new gun. We have three new guns, that's cool. We have, yes, three new guns this year. So this is our Tempio Limited. And you're saying so they're bringing 20 of these in? 20, yes. So we've got 10 12s and 10 20s. Nice. Um, based on a standard Tempio action, color case hardened with gold, gold birds. It looks way nicer case color hardened, that Tempio action. It does, doesn't it? it does. And the gold, I mean, I like gold. Yeah, yeah, gold I often find is a bit of a Marmite situation, but I think it works well here, especially with the color case hardened action, so. I think the reality is, that this gun is three grand, and that makes it one of the most good value for money guns in your game range. Correct, yeah. And I I, do, I think it's prettier than a Magnus. I think at three grand, that's actually a great looking gun. It is, it is. Yeah, so Tempio is our entry market for, for the game guns, so it's, it's a lot of gun for the money, yeah. that's for sure. And it still comes with a full warranty and everything. Absolutely, 10 year mechanical warranty, yeah. You get five jokes, so everything you, everything you could need. You've got selective safety on there as well. I um, think, yeah. Value for money looks wise, that really does hit hard. Yeah, hard to beat. But there's only 20, so. There is only 20, so they will be gone quickly. I like that. I mean, it's got gold on it, I was easily sold. <laughs> Mate, thank you very much. No Have problem. a great show, and we'll and catch you. you soon. Thanks very much. In order to get around this show in a day, we had to divide and conquer. Haven't seen you since we were pissed wet on the side of a hill. Oh man, yeah. Were we ever? That was uh, that was good. It was kind of raining like that yesterday, actually, when we landed. So it, yeah, it was. I, mean, I was I having some serious flashbacks. I'm PTSD. <laughs> yeah. Wait, this looks awesome. Yeah, the new Orion side by side. Uh, fantastic addition to the Weatherby lineup. We haven't had a side by side for 15 plus years. So we just brought that back uh, last August. So nice. Brand new in the line. Just a. Good little workhorse side by side. Absolutely, yeah. Went with a real classical design on this guy. Straight English stock, got the splinter four end, double triggers on it, so. And a non-ejector, I get to a normal guy's gun, right? Absolutely, just a working man shotgun for sure. Yeah. All right, should we pop it off and have a look? Absolutely, let me get a key. It's nice, it's quite substantial. It's not super light, which will be good for a lot of people. Absolutely, yeah. We want the, the steel receiver on that. So again, a little heavier than what you'd get for an alloy, but. As far as just being a good field type shotgun, it's just got a lifter in it. It doesn't have ejectors, so you're not having to bend over and pick up holes if you crack it open and shoot yeah. them out. So lift them, throw them in your pocket, and away you go to you know get some more birds. Kind of primarily designed as an American Upland gun, but probably pretty useful here for, well, same kind of stuff, right? Absolutely, yeah. And we have a lot of people that are actually starting to shoot them on uh, clay courses and stuff at home too. They really like them there. Yeah, that little bit of extra weight is definitely a definitely got like clay gun all over it. Womp rib, it points really, really well. I mean, it's just one of those, you know, I hadn't shot a, sh I hadn't shot a side by side in years and I picked this up and it was like, immediately it just fit like a glove and I was like, man, this thing is a ton of fun to shoot. It's definitely a, 
it's an interesting thing, right? You don't see many guns like this anymore. Most people with the cyber side, they go in super shiny, ejectors, single trigger. This kind of makes me feel old fashioned. It's got a little nostalgia like, to it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's a nostalgic gun. Yeah. I like it. Simple branding, simple looking thing. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, we just wanted to, we wanted to be kind of old school. Old school, cool. And yeah. that seems to be the direction a lot of things are going right now. Like what was old is what's now cool. So, so you are becoming cool. Uh, I'm starting Slowly to get cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, as I'm approaching 50 here pretty soon, I mean, I'll be cool someday. <laughs> that's my hope. Right, that's awesome. So we've looked at the Pro 12 before. A bit different now though. Slightly different. This is a complete new specification version of it. So completely for, for updated. Us, for the UK. Yeah, so for the UK, um, potentially will be available um, elsewhere as well, but for now it is a UK specification gun. The differences with this gun, so five extended colour banded chokes, 10-8 tapered rib, yep. beaver tail forend, uh, adjustable trigger. So on the trigger, there's a pin system on there, so you just push down and that moves along and locks into five no different tool, no positions. Tools necessary. Completely toolless. So That's no cool. tools, no screws. Nothing. Nothing needed, so just nice and easy, quickly adjusts on there. Hand polished action, so the, the action is actually hand polished. We kept it nice and plain, so it's got a, a, a more sleeker look to the action. Yep. Completely changed the stock, so the stock has a new radius in the pistol grip, so the design on that is slightly different. Whole new dimensions. Hot, yeah, d just gives the gun a completely different feel. Uh, slight palm swell in the stock, uh, comb height slightly higher, so it's uh, 3550, so a little bit higher in the stock compared to the standard SP models. New pad as well? Yeah, Pac My Decelerator pad. Always a nice addition. Another thing that's worth mentioning so we've actually had the forcing cones changed, so the forcing cones have been elongated. That's significantly changed the recoil on this gun. So the recoil has dropped down now, so it's 26.7% less recoil than your standard SP models. Yeah. Uh, so really this model is ATA's flagship competition model. Yeah. So with the barrel weights and the stock weights, you can completely customize. You yeah, so Especially you can, if you go for an adjustable one, which they are doing. Yeah, so adjustable as well. So barrel lengths, 30 and 32, yeah. right-handed and left-handed, uh, adjustable and non-adjustable. All the same, steel proof, five year warranty. Everything. Yeah, steel shot proof. Uh, everything you'd expect. Yeah, steel shot proof, five year warranty. Customize it to hand and a feel however you like, depending on the shooter. Whether they're like a slightly faster moving gun, something that's a little bit heavier, yeah. more controlled and precise. So, yeah, just an all round fantastic competition gun that retails at just under a thousand pounds. So this is the, the latest release from BSA. This is the R12 CLX Black Edition stock, and it's the takedown version. Is this the first time that BSA have done a takedown version It is of a completely. Rifle? It's something new. It was basically born from our pest control customers. Right. Um, pest control professional businesses across yeah. the UK and abroad like something that's small and compact to carry. That they can so put in the van. Yeah, yeah, so traditionally they've gone for ultras. However, they wanted larger capacity uh, of air, more shots, basically, yeah. for big pigeon jobs, with large, large rat control jobs. So what we've actually done is modified the stock screw so right. that we one single quick release stock screw that just literally, once the action sits in the stock, screws straight through in, it's a quick dial, yeah. so you can detach the stock in under 30 seconds. Oh, that's great. Pack it away. The beauty of this one is that it comes with a, uh, a 440cc carbon fibre bottle yeah. and a 3 to 9 by 50 optic already right. as part of the kit. All part of the package, okay. Comes with a silencer, pellets, two magazines already in this nice display case. The benefit of the case is that this will actually fit in almost all cars, boots, yeah. um, and easily stowed. Often with a rifle case, you've got either got to play Tetris on the back seat, yeah, with trying it, to the fit seat it in, belt, trying to get it in there, yeah, um, or try and squeeze it in the boot. Yeah, as this looks like it's in a, a hammer drill case almost, or a power tool case. Yeah, and allows it to fit in. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, the beauty is it, a lot of people don't have the space at home either. They might not have a garage to store stuff in or access to a loft. Um, this will fit under a bed or in a small case yeah. for easy stowage. And obviously transportation is easy and you know carried to and fro. Yeah. So what's the whole package going to retail at? Under 1,200 quid. Oh, okay. It's actually only about 25 pounds more RRP 
than the standard R12 CLX in the black edition stock. Yeah. And what's the sort of shot count they're going to get from that bottle? Shot count of this one is a couple of hundred shots yeah. at standard UK power. Yeah, so it's going to last them quite a yeah. while. So it's there's handy there's plenty you, there. It's yeah. handy you've only got the one screw to, it is. to take it down. And it's also available in all three main calibers. Oh, fantastic. 177, 22 and 25. Oh, OK. Have good a luck good the rest day. of the show. See ya. This is awesome, mate. Yeah, that is the new 307. So it's our Remington 700 footprint. Yep. So spiral fluted barrel, threaded. Half comes by 28. Half by 28. Oh, nice and common. Yep. So we've got extend bolt release on it. Nice, easy to do. Oh, fluted bolt as well. Fluted bolt, M16 style extractor on the bolt. The features toolish, toolless takedown. So I usually just push down on this and this whole thing comes apart. Yeah. So no tools on it. Attachable magazine, adjustable cheek. For the value, it's a real hard rifle to beat. Trigger tech trigger as well, I believe. Yes. How much? $12.99. That is a bargain. So we're doing them in standard calibers and Weatherby calibers. So we've got everything from 243 up to 300 Weatherby. Yeah. Um, we're doing 300 PRC, 280 Ackley, 65 Creed, more like we have everything available. 308, 30, 306. Oh, yeah. All everything. the common stuff. Yep. All the common stuff and, and some, all the odd stuff. And some fun stuff as well. <laughs> One of these in 300 PRC would be kind of cool. It is. Yeah. It is a really cool one in that. I personally like the 280 Ackley. That one's, that's a fun one. So if you find the 307 a bit heavy, then you, you guys can, do something else. Yeah, so we do the 307 in what we call our Alpine model. Mm. So this is an MDT Hunt chassis that weighs 26 ounces. So there's a few little fun things on this one. So A, first off, we put our Peak 44 rail on top of this. Mm -hmm. So it's already going to come with a 20 MOA rail. So quick, easy setup now. Yeah. Now when you get into this chassis, it's adjustable for length of pull. It comes with spacers. Yep. Adjustable cheek and... Oh, it folds. It folds. Oh. So that's a bit of me that is. Yeah. So for us, like where I live, like we do a lot of like where you're packing in, you're hiking in. Yeah. This makes it really easy to strap you're on a pack. 20 miles and you want to, yeah. Well, not 20, but well. you do that, you might not come out, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the nice thing with the stock too, is it has the Arca rail. So I run this off my tripod when I'm shooting. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you can take your glass off. You can easily use your tripod then if you're in, you know, uneven territory and you're trying to get a good shot. But yeah, you can feel how light that is. There's nothing to that, is it? Yeah. I mean, it's getting busy now. It is. Yeah, it was definitely easier this morning before everyone. Oh, hello, Johnny. You're hey, right through there. I feel like I'm in prison. I can barely see you past the 125 year anniversary Look bar. HW50, HW100, and HW95. 125 years of bar. That's cool. And HW100, one of the best air rifles of all time. It's 1350 in a red and black laminate. And I appreciate they make a laminate gun already, but it it's cool looking. It is very cool. I mean, it shows up your red HW100 now. I feel like I started this trend with the it's, red HW100, and now I feel like I need one. I haven't felt like I've needed a new air gun for a while. Yeah. It's very nice. It's special. Yeah. And a 1350, it's not that much of an increase over a standard one. So you've got the 125 years on the stick. I mean, have you felt the stipple grip now? Oh, that yes. And I kind of like it in the laminate. It's a bit more um, grippy. Grippy. Tactile. Yeah. And I know we're all HW100 fanboys, but you've got the HW50 at 450 and the HW97 for 850. 900 of them, 600 of them, 300 of them. It's very cool, especially if you're um, an air rifle fan and you want one in your collection. Limited edition runs are always something that people get excited by. Yeah, like for me, I look at it as a, I haven't felt the need to change my air gun for a while. It's getting a little, well, it's not getting old. It's 10 years old, my HW100. This actually makes me feel like I want to update. And that's what a limited edition set of guns should do. It should make you go, I'll change one of them. What's new in cartridge world? Well, we obviously last year we launched the super fast 24 gram yeah. plastic one five award. This year we're going to be upgrading our intercop load. Okay. So that's something that's new and exciting. I've just seen the rebrand, new box, new cartridge, new everything. That's yeah, that's coming along. It'll be on stream very, very shortly. We're just working out the final specifications. I think we're going to squeeze a bit more velocity out of it for the 24 grammers and okay. we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Put it into the sort of the Olympic yeah. level. Yeah, uh, it's, it's having, a, uh, it's having a, a makeover, so we're going to give it a sexy new case. Very nice. Which will be really interesting. 
The fibres in 65 and the uh, plastics in 75 mm. Awesome, and? And the 12 mm heads. Pro 1 Hydrowood, is that coming for a uh, We are still working on okay. our replacement material for Hydrowood. The Hydrowood shoots fantastically, Unbelievably. fantastically well, as you know, but the market is asking for something that breaks down quicker. Would you believe oh. we've, even, we've even got a wad that we're trialling, which is made of seaweed? Don't think that one's going to pass, but we are working them as fast as we can to I get can new material. See you on the banks of the Humber Estuary with a Yeah, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. David, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming by. Excited to see Parazzi here today. Thank you. There's been some changes? Yes. What is going on? Well, in terms of what's happening in the UK, no change at all. That's good. Uh, Artemis have picked up the uh, distribution of the brand, and so it's yeah, very much business as usual. Brilliant news, that is brilliant. Yeah. And in terms of the guns, same, no big changes. I think everyone's kind of worried that we're going to see, I don't know, Parati start selling semi-automatics or something. No, 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 no. It's uh, 1957, we've been building them since then and there's no, no nasty changes coming, no plastics or carbon are used in the making of this gun. That is great news, I like that, that's reassuring. I've seen that there's a new model left this year, the high tech Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a celebration of 2024, obviously it's an Olympic year, so Pratsy have come up with the high tech 2024 engraving. Um, we haven't got one in the country yet, but I'm sure they're on their way. I look forward to seeing them when they are, man. That's what a, is this? That's an MX20. So that is SC3 wood on there and 101 engraving. It's a nice looking thing, isn't it? Nice looking little game gun. And how much is something like this? You're looking at the moment around about 17 specs the way that is okay. spec. And when you order one of these, you can literally have whatever you want. You can have absolutely anything. I mean, that is spec as a thoroughbred game gun, but you could have Honestly, how wide is your imagination? You can have anything you want on a Parazzi. That's the, that's the beauty of it. That's the, the key selling point, I think. What is the extra cost for actually going out to the factory? Um, we ask customers to pay their own way to get there, but once you're there, in terms of what you're going to receive with your order, there's no additional costs. That's it's, all, awesome. it's all done for I you. mean, a flight's yeah. 150 to Yeah, I mean, like. yeah. For, for the price of a ticket out there, it's a great experience. Yeah. Um, you get to meet the guy who's going to make you a gun, which I think is a, a bit well, of a treat as well. It, it adds some story yes. to the gun. And yeah, the, yeah. You know, it's all well and good buying something off the shelf, but it is something very different when you've been yeah. there and enjoyed that process and we, been a part of it. We had a lot of trouble providing that service during um, the, the lockdown. Um, well, we put something together in the UK where folk could come down to us in Oxfordshire and, and have almost that full experience, but there's nothing quite like the excitement of getting on a plane and going off to Italy yeah. and seeing where they're actually made and where they always have been made. What's new? A new range of guns from India that we are going to be importing. Okay. It's from Pressy Hole Sports. It's a bit of a backstory. So this is the new X200 range of rifles. Yeah. They're all developed in-house at Air Arms. Yeah. Not to be confused with the S200. No. Which no longer but it is. But a replacement for it. But it just so happens that that company will already produce their own range of air rifles. Why not? Yeah. So we thought, why not import them? Give them a try. So yeah. So this would be our budget range of guns we'll yeah. be offering. They don't shoot like cheap guns. Yeah. They're very good guns. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like you've got a standard style of a PCP. Yep. A brake valve spring and a ball pup as well. A ball pup, yeah. Very nice little ball pup. Uh, these are your sort of more target based guns. Yeah. So you've got your sort of your, your precision 10 meter type gun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one is the Junior, the Club Pro Junior, aimed yep. at pneumatic pistol, target pistol here. So that's going to sell well. That is. I think, yeah, that'll be a. Uh, uh, so new for this year, 2024, it's the same action, but with a new aluminium stock. Yeah. So we're calling it the Alutech stock. Yeah. And some laminate as well. Yep, yeah, laminate, so there's many additional features to this gun. The geometry is exactly the same. As a normal XTI. Yeah, so from here, all your points, geometry points, has not changed. Yep. The pistol gets a little more comfortable, so you get a bit, the, the trigger controls better. Yep. Um, so multi-axis adjustable here. So it can move side to side. Yeah. You can move wherever you want. You get as, as comfortable as you want. Yeah. And also, by undoing these two, you can change the cast of the stock. Yeah, that's, that's a good feature. So that's an additional feature. Yeah. Weight-wise, it's comparable with the laminate stock. Oh, stock version. 
and all the other controls are the same. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the Ali Tech Stock STI 50. It's a nice little update, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's called the British Shooting Show, but this event is visited by people from all over the world. We've imported an Australian to help us out today. Hell are you? I'm really good, man. I haven't seen you for years. So good to be here. Mate, should we go look at some stuff? We should definitely go look at some stuff. I mean, right what? now? Stuff, then we go to the bottle -o, get a couple of froppies. What have we got, Johnny? I don't know, but luckily, Rob Speed does. Hello, mate. You all right? I'm all right, you. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right, mate. So what we got here, Blazer F3, and this is called... It is like watching a YouTube video of you. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Apart from mine's not as good as yours. No, it's just more it's, West Country. It's different, it is right? more West Country. Is this a custom match pair, or is it just... So, no, they're, they're separate. So what you got here is the flash map. I like the mixture. Yeah, and, I, it, it's, and that's obviously the opposite way. I don't hate it. One, is they're completely interchangeable. They're, they're modular. So if you add, like this is the Vantage rib on this, the Vantage barrel, you've got the raised rib on this. It's all for head position. It's all for personal preference. You could put a flat rib on that. Trap for him? Uh, yeah, beaver tail for I like rings. that beaver tail for him. Like, yeah. It's not too beavery. No. It's just beavery enough. It is. It's somewhere I to don't put hate your that. fingers. Yeah, it's really surprising. It feels quite lively for a blazer. Yeah. That extra weight in the stock seems to do some good. Yeah. I like that a lot. With a set of sub gauge 410 barrels clipped in there. Well, the oh, thing yeah. is, 410 barrels, you could literally slip them straight on that action. You don't have to get them fitted or anything like that. Jim, they machining will... it, it's finest. It, it, it really is. It 11 really is. and a bit grand. It's not that bad. It's not bad for a custom gun. Obviously, this is very unique. Some people will love it, some people will hate it. Have you got a favourite out of the two? It can't be that one. It's got to be that one, right? This is nice, but you're gonna, you'd have to look after it. You would. This one, I feel would last longer looking beautiful. What barrels have we got on these? 30s, 32s, 30s. 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 Yeah, so that's why it feels nice. You'll, you'll, yeah, all, you'll always find that a 30, the, the barrel weights are exactly the same. It's the same tube, but the 30 will always handle that bit faster, obviously, because you ain't got that weight out in front, but it, it is noticeable. I shoot a 32 inch Vantage, I can't shoot a 30. I've tried, it just doesn't work in my hands. But again, like with the barrels, you can change it. I could easily just take the stock bolt out of this, take the screws off here to change the fore end iron. You could have a grade seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, whatever that's, you want. That's kind of a cool thing, right? I, I, I don't hate the new, like a bit of an inbuilt palm swell. It's nice, nice. Yeah, it's subtle. It's become it a bit of a thing now. It feel yeah. good. It's not, like it's not too chunky. Yeah. You know, you, you've got with the, the Brownings, a very, very prominent sort of big chunky. Look it's a lot. It. It's a lot. And for my hands aren't very big, it fits my hand perfectly, the palm swell on these blazers. Always good to catch up, mate. Always good, mate. Lovely mm. to see you. And Lovely. nice to meet you, Bruce. Lovely to meet you too, Lovely bud. Lovely to see you. Keep those naked videos coming. I love it. I will do, I will do. <laughs> <laughs>、so、over at Zeiss with Devan. You're going to tell us all these new exciting <laughs> things that you've had come out、what、this year. What we have here. What we have here is our LRP S3. It's part of our long range precision scopes. Okay. So you have the S3 in a 6 to 36 magnification, and you also get it in a 4 to 25, which is the same model, same glass, and that. It's just magnification difference. Both of them 34 mil tubes, but a lot of internal travel. There's 160 MOA internal adjustment on this, which is excellent for long range shooting. Yeah. So long before you start doing other rails or 30 MOA rails or that. You have the adjustment just on the scope itself. Close focus or near focus, so it can focus from 10 meters. So people use it on two twos, like you have it here for the PRS shooting. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can go all the way back down. Yes, right. Yes, and then into infinity. So you can use it on PCPs, air rifles. Yeah. Also a popular use, and then normal center fire rifles for long distance shooting. So they can still use it for training, and then、yes. go on to the bigger ones and for, yeah straight away. So a, oh, fantastic! A real advantage on that. Also the S5s, which is just a model above the S3s, different price points. That's a 5 to 25 magnification,、uh, which is close to the 4 to 25. Oh, okay.、Yeah. So, what is the price on one of these? It's 
Six to thirty-six is two thousand three hundred and fifty pounds. Right. Okay. And then currently at the show during this weekend, there's a twenty percent discount on that, so it brings it down to one thousand eight hundred and eighty pounds. It's good to see you in yet another country, mate. Yeah. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> what have we got today? We got an ultra leggero, our model for uh, ultra light hunting. Mm -hmm. It's very peculiar this model because it uh, it is very lightweight. It weighs around 2.8 kilos on the 12 gate. What's that in in pounds? You make the calculations. Yeah, some uh, six pounds. Six pounds seven or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. But the the peculiarity of this model is that it's a steel frame yeah. out of uh, an ultra light again platform. So what we have done is. Uh, we drilled and tapered the, the side plates at the bottom of the receiver of a 690 action and we made it lightweight. So, so it should be just as strong as a standard 690. Exactly, exactly, okay. but it's lightweight. So okay. as I usually say, it's a model for ultralight hunting so that people that do a lot of walking. And but not a lot of shooting. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you use one of these? Yeah, I do use one of these uh, in the Alps, uh, the ptarmigans, uh, grouses, so I'm very familiar with the platform. I do like it a lot. And you walk in the mountains for like, what, 20 yeah, X yeah. kilometers for yeah. five or six shots? For all day, and I take just a couple of shots a day. But yeah. I feel like there is the model uh, on the durability side, but also the, on the weight side, uh, which is the more convenient for me. In this peculiar model, we got a Victoria stock. A Victoria stock is uh, uh, a shorter, a shorter uh, length of pull compared mm -hmm. to the standard model. And it has a Monte Carlo stock, which has, uh, which features a 35, 45, 55 drop, yep. which is uh, very convenient for for women in general or for younger younger shooters, yeah. younger hunters. I see. I know a lot of guys that shoot this. Shorter guys, shorter necks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that works. But also the pistol grip is uh, more curved. Yeah, a little more, tighter radius. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's more convenient as well for these type of customers. Awesome, man. Good, yeah. good to see you. Thank you. See you next week. Yeah. <laughs>
quickly switch into the optical channel. Confirm what it is. And confirm what it is, exactly. Range, range find it as well. 100%, all in, all in one unit. Range, all in one unit, yeah. Um, it, again, runs on 18650 batteries. Um, it's got an IR illuminator in, so the uh, camera will also work. You know, you get a great full color image during the day. At night time, switch into night mode and it will carry on working in black and white. So uh, kind of like the Alpacs, you get that high resolution image. Um, really versatile product. We're selling loads of these across you know, the shooting market, also into the nature world. People who want to find things uh, to take pictures of them. Yeah. Um, you know, this is a great People flexible like bird, product. Bird watches, things like that. Uh, it's, yeah, it's building, a, uh, it's building the optical binocular and the thermal binocular into one device. One unit, yeah. Um, yeah, really, really cool. I'm excited. I mean, Bruce, this is a this, pump action. This is cool. You're not allowed these. We can have semi-automatics if you own a farm, but a pump action, why would you bother wasting your time with a pump action when you can get a semi-auto? Super reliable. You can put super shorties in it. You can put anything in it and then just keep going, bang, bang, bang. Oh, that sound. It's awesome. This is a 590 Mariner, which is it's pretty rare over here. Have a stainless? go. I, 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 stainless? Stainless and coated. How do I work it? Well, it requires something like a, like a stroking, pulling and pushing action. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got this. You're qualified. Oh, so what you need to do <laughs> is you need to press the magic button and uh, then start stroking. You've got to push a button, then stroker. This is it. And you can pull the trigger and then do it, but you don't drive fire guns. You press the button, go for gold. Cool. Push a button. Push a button. <laughs> By this point, we'd all had a good look round and agreed that it was competition time. Guys, this year a bit more organised. I have four tasks here, okay. each of which you have £100 to buy. Each okay. is a different category. Some are harder and some are less hard. And the winner will be determined by a uh, democratic vote. Yep. So, any, anyone? Yeah. Play target shooting accessories. Oh, oh. that's right on your market. <laughs> See, a small bore shotgun for £100. And it can't be a single barrel 410, so we did that last year. 12 4. How did I get the worst Whoa. one? What did you get? What did you get? Stalking, Stalking accessories. Oh, okay. Like binoculars. There are many quiet shoes. accessories for £100. Oh, deer stalking. Yeah. Right, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Set one hour timer. Let's be generous. We're discussing tactics. We're, uh, we're splitting off from those two there. Oh, here he comes. Oh, no, he's are you working together? Well, maybe, maybe we are. Maybe. So I've got some volunteers <laughs> to help me out. <laughs> Finding a hundred pound small ball that isn't a single barrel is turning about to be a bit more difficult than I thought. I think that I can do some trading up here. I have some friends here who have some stalking. It's not saleable stalking, but you know, they might do me a trading favor. We're at SWATCOM. I reckon a range bag. Do you reckon you'd be able to cut me a deal on a range bag? I could, yeah. An hour's not long enough, and 100 pounds not enough to get a decent gun. I have 23 pounds left in my budget, though, which could be difficult. Uh, I've got one more place to visit that I know might have something. Let's Good. do this deal, get 100 quid done. Thank you. And I'm going to go back and relax while the rest of them faff around. Oh, there he is. Oh. Talk of the devil. Wow. And he shall appear. Hi, friend. Is, are you Johnny Carr? I'd love to be a stalker, mate. I've been stalking for a while. Well, as it happens, I've got something to hear about this. Hey. Oh, I've got this lovely bottle of slow gin. How about we do a trade? What is this? Slow, slow gin. It's your first slow gin? Really? It's my first slow gin. It's Australian. It, 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 it'll it'll change your life. Good. There you go. That will change your life. Oh, mate. Oh, that's a long way down. One hour has passed, gentlemen. You look great. I, I, That's a, this is a typical Australian thing, right? Well, I love a hat. All right, what else do you get? Can't go past it. Swat Speed defenders. Very important. You know, you, there's a lot of air defender people here. There's a lot of custom people here. Oh, but they're a little bit more money than those. What were they? 30 pounds. Ooh, oh, bargain. Next thing, a range bag. Oh, yeah. You mm. cannot go past a range bag. Also, SWAT Kong, 75 pounds. A clay target. Very useful for clay shooting. Yep. Mm -hmm. A t-shirt. From where? From Edgar Brothers. Free one. Nice. Free t-shirt. From the CPSA. CPSA pen. Oh, you could have spent £100 on a membership. Very nicely done, Bruce. Boys, how did you get on with the guns? It was difficult. Yeah, yeah, it was difficult. The problem is... Nobody likes you. Yes. <laughs> a lot of so them. many bargains went this morning where everyone, as soon as they came through the door, yep. all of the £100, £200 guns, gone. Wow. 
and people say you can't get a bargain at the shooting show, you're wrong because they all went. You morning. can't after Friday afternoon. So I ended up going for, and I, I saved ten pounds. I mean, you won't believe how beautiful this is. Is it Lorona? It's a Lorona. Yes, he's amazing at guessing. Double trigger. Double trigger. Hold on, is it three in inch fact? Magnum? Ninety pounds. I mean, they made a model of Winchester in this same action. It's a great gun. Where'd you get it from? Our friend at Pegasus. Nice. But this is a great gun for ninety pounds. That's a good gun. Sweet. I actually found one quite early on. I found this early on. Narika. Fixed half coat. Bolt action. Three shot. Four ten. He has got himself a classic Australian snake gun. Every farmer in Australia has one of those. That's one of these. Really? Rest up against the back door for snakes. All right. In which case, it's way cooler Rest than just like yeah. some more to your collection. I mean, it's a How nice much? gun. And I saved my 75 quid. That's a bargain. It's a bargain, isn't it? What, what did you, you get? I mean, you got? well, this is it. I, um, the back, I, I panicked for 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, go on. Maybe, maybe more. Panic you mean drank gin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> I mean, the back end was way better than the front end. The front end, I panicked. What do you buy? It's talking for hundred pounds. You can't buy a rifle. You buy two boxes of good ammo. You can buy a nice knife, but not like some of the really nice custom knives here. And uh, I wanted to be able to use everything I bought. You can never have enough backpacks, right, guys? Yeah. Nice. The backpack was fifteen pounds. Bargain. Fifteen. Fifteen pounds. I started with a free baseball cap. <laughs> I first stopped by John Bailey's store, where I looked at a trail cam. Trail cam. He was going to do me for hundred pounds. It was up for two hundred and twenty. So it's two years old model. He wanted rid of it. Bargain. But would a trail cam have won a competition? Or would it? <laughs> so I bought a knife instead, a neck knife. So you put this around your neck, and, Mate, you, and you can survive in the outback. I hate to say it, that's not a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, what, more? Right? Look it's definitely not a knife. It looks a bit cold in here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need to kill more deer? Camo. Sorry, mate, you bought what? <laughs> I know, I'm invisible. It? It's the cloak of invisibility. I got it off of Michael. Jack nice Pike. Bit of Jack Pike. A bit of Jack Pike. Uh, on sale for, a, it wasn't a tenner, but it was by the time I was done haggling. Have you seen where Johnny's gone? I, oh, oh no, it's a it. it. <laughs> Knife sharpener, different stand, three pounds. Knife sharpener. This is a pair of 168 pound sealant waterproof thermal trousers. 40 quid. 40, 40 quid. quid. <laughs> that, that though, they may even fit you, they're a size 38. <laughs> <laughs> You've bought a lot of stuff to go stalking, but to be a stalker, you'd kill a deer. And who do I know who has a lot of deer? Ant McLernan. Ah, Here he is. And you know what I know Ant loves? Gin. And you, know, gin. <laughs> you bought a man a gin to shoot a deer. I said, I'll trade you a gin for a deer. And he said, done. So I went and got the gin. I'm going stalking with Ant next week. I've got all my gear to do it, 100 quid. Bang. Due to deer, mm -hmm. you can take that venison home with you because you got mm -hmm. it. So you can take me home after you. <laughs> I want to say Johnny might have won this, but I want him to try the pants on first. This is chronic. <laughs> <laughs> there is very little in my life that fits. It will kill. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> it's the winner. Just for being a true gen, country gen. Unfortunately, your vote doesn't count. So <laughs> Johnny's won it. About, about time I won this season. Well done. Guys, well done. I'd like to give you this. I actually really like this. <laughs>so we've got a new rifle brand in the UK. It's called Gunworks. Gunworks. So uh, I'm, I'm Chris with Gunworks. We've been in business about 18 years. We're based in a little tiny town in Cody, Wyoming. We're a little tiny uh, company as well. So Gunworks, in 18 years, we've focused on custom hunting rifles. Mm -hmm. And not just a hunting rifle, but a, a rifle system. Yeah. So we mount a scope, we shoot a gun, we break it in, and we provide the shooter basically a thousand yards out of the box package. We've developed our own uh, optics company called Revic, which is Revolutionary Optics, where we offer uh, kind of an ecosystem of products. So we've got a smart scope, the Revic Radical, which we just debuted. Uh, we also have our, our uh, rangefinding binocular, our laser rangefinder, a non-smart scope. We've got a wind meter coming. Um, and we just have a ecosystem of products, so. So it's all designed to work with these rifles it, in it, tandem. It, it, absolutely. And you guys absolutely. do everything, you shoot it in, you zero it, you make sure it's 100%. We, we do, 100%. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're doing everything at the factory so the end user doesn't have to do that. It doesn't have to, yeah. It's a good sort of turnkey system, isn't it, for someone who just wants 
it, all set up, ready for them. You know, it's a techie system, but but when you think about it, it's actually very sim simple to use. You're going to use your phone app. So, for example, this scope, you're going to take your phone app, you're going to program your ballistic data, which we're going to give you all of that up front. Yep. You're going to program that into your app. You're going to take your app, you're going to pair it to your, uh, to your uh, uh, scope just yep. one time via Bluetooth. And once you're in the field, the, you're going to turn the scope on, you're going to put your crosshairs on the animal, you're going to let your guide or your hunting partner do the work for you and take the range. Okay. When they tell you the range, say, say they, they, uh, they range your animal at 780 yards, you reach up without ever taking your animal out of your sight picture and you're going to dial to 780 and you're on target. So it's going to account for wind. So it doesn't measure wind, it doesn't measure range. So those are the two variables that you have to you provide have to put it. In, but you can either have a Kestrel or you can have a range of Ronda. Exactly. Get and, and we actually have a wind meter uh, releasing later this year as well. Oh. So. <laughs> Um, and, and it's going to pair very nicely to this. So it's it's a like I said, it's an ecosystem of products. Um, you know, on the rifles, we do everything from the ground up. So we're we're laying the molds for the stocks. We're cutting the actions out of out of out of blocks of steel and aluminum. Uh, we're we're wrapping and, and cutting our own barrels. So everything that you see on this rifle system is a Gunworks product you designed do in -house. And, and engineered with us. Almost everything that you see just in front of you is built in-house for the exception of the optic, which is uh, made in Japan, yeah. um, and, and uh, uh, bipod included. What calibers and stuff are available? So in the Nexus rifle, uh, which is what we have in front of us, it's a 6.5, 7, and 300 PRC. Yeah. In our, our traditional Legacy series, which is our Climber, our Magnus, our Verdict, we're going to offer about 14 different caliber options. Okay, something for everyone, then. Something for everyone. Yeah. You know, we're not going to do the traditional uh, three, you know, thirty out six or three oh eight because we're we're focused on our cartridges that are kind of designed for long range shooting. Yeah. Uh, but but we add a little bit of, a little bit for everybody. Ah, right. yeah. Wedley has released two prototypes at the show. Yep. The XSP is one of them. It is. Tell us about it, and Bruce. What do you think? Our XS model that we've had for numerous years now we've now tarted it up it's the next step on from the XS to the XSP so currently in a polished side plate with the uh, the floating barrels just a next step it's the generational change is something that just makes the gun a little bit more new okay. um, still got five year warranty still got three inch chambers um, still has all the same features of that uh, XS model with the echo point system um, with just a bit of a, a modern fresh it's definitely a bit rad plate. looking don't. I don't hate it. I, it's but maybe some people would, which would mean it would be what? It'd be Vegemite. <laughs> it's gonna be bloody Vegemite. Oh, wait. it's kind of cool. Price point? Uh, one thousand one hundred ninety-nine. So entry level. It's yeah. an affordable side plate, shiny looking gun with a mid step up rib, nice big fat forend, palm swell, adjustable cove. I think the checkering is not for me. But you'd live with it for twelve hundred pounds. We all like the same thing. It'd be boring. Wouldn't it? You give that a couple of months, it'll wear in. I, I, it's sharp now, but yeah, I, I, I just, I like it. Like it's radical. It's different. It comes I, up alright. It's a gun that says I don't want to be the same as everyone else, and that counts for a lot. That's what I mean. The balance is decent. Wait, though, the whole thing is not awful. It's good. I, I'd go as far as to say that I kind of prefer that to last year's release. Cool. Like in terms of being a bit like out there. It's cool. Yeah. I don't think it needs any engraving. Don't laser engrave it. Nope. Don't. It needs okay. to be clean, okay. sleek. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you engrave it, the thing is, right, you start engraving it, you put the price up. It, it, it's it's not going to look a million bucks, is it? Exactly. You're not, no, it's short, not going to be. Short of making it super expensive. So yes. leave it plain. I think Bruce is right. It looks beautiful. Absolutely. And the next iteration will be laminate as well. Wow. Might have lost me at the laminate. That is Vegemite. <laughs> <laughs> two for two. Wood. Keep it wood. Yeah. Keep it classic. Keep it wood. Yeah, I. I can't say that it doesn't actually feel great. Like it feels better than yeah. A lot of other twelve hundred pound guns. Good. And that grip is for the money. We, it, we prefer that. It's uh, exceptional. We know it works. Yeah. Like that grip. It isn't broke. Don't fix it is it. solid. No worries. Thank you. Much. Thank you. We're over at Edgar Brothers with Sam. He's going to talk to us about this Zoli. 
Yeah, so this is the XL Evo. Obviously, it's been around for a while now, obviously a couple of years, and we're really starting to get obviously some traction with it now. It's a complete out and out competition gun. Um, this is actually one of our sponsor shooters, Matt, Matt Hant. Obviously, he's got this set up very much to himself. As you can see, there's obviously there's a lot of adjustable points on it. Yeah. And you know, you can ask him yourself, that's exactly why he loves it. Is there's so many different points of adjustment for it. Okay. So you can really personalize it to yourself. Yeah. Just to go through a few of them, obviously the action side plates are interchangeable obviously weighting system all you have to do is take the stock off these two weights there and there both slide out oh, they, you can put yes yeah, so okay. they, they come out so you can add weight at the center of the mass yeah reason being is you can actually add weight to have a heavier gun at the middle without affecting the balance of the gun because it's between the hands yeah so one thing that zolly pride themselves on with their balancing system is the b bhb between hands balancing system so you've got the interchangeable side weights at the side You've also got underneath the interchangeable weighting system in the pistol grip. So all that is is a threaded bar, undoes, okay, and you just add weight to it, put it back in. So again, it's not taking the weight to the extreme ends of the gun. Right, okay. That's a very clever system. It is, because obviously a lot of weighting system is, you know, at the end of the barrel or the or back the of back, the stock, yeah. which means that as soon as you add a little bit of weight, it it's, drastically changes yeah. the, the balance. Whereas this, you can add little bit of weight, a lot of weight, and it will adjust it, but in smaller increments, so you can be a lot more accurate with the balancing of the gun. Okay. The final balancing system is the magnetic barrel weights. Again, they come in, obviously it's just magnetic, obviously pinched in through obviously to the ends here, and all it does again is it's because it's underneath the forend, it's very close to the base of the, or the center of the action, which again, means you can add weight very consistently and very accurately. Yeah, it's so, very easy to change as well. Exactly, yeah, so you know, Obviously, with any gun, it, it takes an element of setting up to get the, for the shooter to get the best possible out of it. You know, you ask Matt, it took him a while to obviously to get hit exactly right for him. And that's the thing that he loves about it and other shooters love about it is it's so personal yeah. and you can tweak it. And as we know with shotguns, the tiniest adjustment oh, makes, make, yeah, yeah, the most it, amount of difference. Exactly, yeah. you know, and everyone shoots differently. So obviously, if you want a more stock heavy gun to make the, obviously the barrels lighter and move quicker, you can do, you add weight at the front to slow everything down, you can do. So Matt's balance, his preference is a little bit more to the rear. Yeah. Because that's exactly how that's he likes, how he likes it. it yeah. And that's the beautiful thing about it. There's no set rule with balancing guns. Yeah. Because it's completely personal preference. Personal preference. Exactly. The, the, it's, it's limited. The, the choices are endless, aren't they, that you can do on that gun? That's the idea. The balancing weight in the, obviously, the BHP system in the grip comes as standard with the, uh, with the gun. The additional weights, these have got, obviously, the standard weights in at the minute. So, obviously, there, again, they come with the gun. The barrel weights are additional. Uh, but they're readily available and they fit every gun. So you can fit it to the XL Evo, the Z Sport, the Kronos. The full RRP 24 pr uh, 2024 pricing is 8995. Right. Uh, with that, you get a transferable 10 year warranty. Okay. So, peace of mind for shooting for 10 years. Um, we also here at Edgar Brothers offer a after service care where at the end of that 10 years, if you were to pay for a service, the warranty extends by another two years. Oh, okay. When that runs out, service it again another two years and that can keep running and running and running so effectively you have carefree shooting for the rest of your life near enough for the rest of your life as, as long as long as you carry on with the servicing the minute the servicing stops yep. the warranty stops but for 10 years you've got carefree shooting all the way throughout the versatility that you get with it is second to none idea behind this if you're familiar with the range pulsar the helium was kind of also always the the, the monocular, the flagship monocular, um, been discontinued now, replaced with the Telos. The great thing about this, which is unique to everything, uh, this one is completely upgradable. So it's a device for life. So you can buy it at the bottom range, being the XQ35, um, and then you can upgrade everything. So you can, can LRF as yeah, well. you can take the LRF on it, the sensor. So you can take it all the way from that straight up to the XP50, which is what I've got in my hand. Um, and then you can put the rangefinder on the bottom of it to upgrade that and. Yeah, it's kind of one of these devices that you can buy and keep adding to it rather than buying one, selling it, getting another one. You just sort of keep going like that. So it has its uses. But yeah, focus wheel at the front. Um, I can't really show you any image quality here, but there's plenty online about this. So it's worth having a look. Uh, this one doesn't have the range finder. Uh, there isn't one with a hand, but underneath it would sit here. Very ergonomic, not too heavy, nice to the eye, focus wheel all there. So. Yeah, fantastic device. Left and, and right hand is as well. Yeah, so you, you can, can spin this all round, you can change that around as well. Very adaptable, very upgradable. 
Okay, so the merger range. So we had a look at the Telos uh, in the monocular. It's obviously one hand. Um, depending on what you do, how you like it, you've got that at your eye all the time. You're going to get that fatigue. So your other eye, if that's going to get very tired, your other eye going to lose night vision, that's sort of stuff. That's where the binocular... Fine is coming. Yeah, binocular configuration. So you've got your two hands. It's lovely to hold. Um, we do the normal, just standard thermal binoculars as well. So you've got your XQ35s, which are around the corner, and they're slightly smaller. The XP, which is a great sensor, but this is the new one to the range. Duo NXP50. The difference with these uh, is thermal and night vision in one binocular. Switch just at the press of a button. Underneath, there's an IR, which I wasn't on here at the minute for obvious reasons, but it does pop on underneath. It's maneuverable. So, you know, you've got your thermal for your heat, so you can find your heat source and then switch to the night vision and the camera for your uh, identification, Absolutely. just to make sure what you're looking at is correct. Same sort of way, internal battery, and then you've got your removable battery here. It's exchangeable, so yeah. The new kit on the block, basically. That is awesome, isn't it? Yeah, so have a bit of kit, yeah. awesome thing you yeah shot one? i haven't shot one no they are so cool can we plug it in we've got a battery i hope so yeah, probably hey are. my hey. man's got a battery yes no, I, then. I did see one of these at our nationals last year yeah at gunnedah they didn't have it operation it was just sitting on the stand we were a little bit busy so i didn't get to check it out you can do whatever you want down, down. How, how is this happening right now <laughs> hey <laughs> Can I have the buttons? It's, it's not <laughs> sky. That's the main base. Yeah. You can see here. Hey. That's cool. You can tilt it. So that's basically the machine base. Then you have here, if you want to tilt it on the bottom, I'll do a, like a down the hill. And then the best bit, mate, spring power. Exactly. And so you I'm can get go... it to pop a clay out or puff it out. Yeah. Like if you had like three or four of those, you could have a good time. It's Laporte. It's going to be reliable. Yeah, until you break it. But that'll be your fault. It's less than, I mean, the whole thing is less than 20 amp. Wow. Same. So with a, a regular battery, it will throw a lot of clays. That's cool. Same a gearbox you've got on all your... A thousand clays exactly. per battery is unbelievable. More than a thousand. Including like five, probably. Five thousand clays, depending on the spring tension. Yeah. But I mean, the actuator is, it consumes nothing. Let me have a go. All right, you have a go. On your it's car, gentlemen. Cool. It's really cool. Oh. We have a brand new clay. Enviro clay. What is great for this one is, I mean, it's that's a strong clay due to its uh, structure, and in fact, it breaks like hell. Yeah, yeah. there's no like, little puff balls. Well, like, yeah. Like a, a like a cloud, like a white cloud, nice. as if it was a flash clay. In fact, look at it. Here, as you can see, it's very thin. Yeah, you're going to get a pellet, one or two pellets caught in there. Exactly. And due to and the breakage is perfect. So we've got something else new from ATA, but it's not a shotgun, it's a rifle. Yeah, so ATA have now branched out into producing centerfire rifles. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be bringing them into the UK, uh, specifically in this model, which is the Turqua. Uh, initially, it'll be coming through in 243, 308, 65 Creedmoor. Common stuff. Common stuff, 270 and 3006. Uh, some real nice features are on this rifle. So we've got an adjustable stock, a real nice quality stock as well. At the price point that this rifle is going to be at, the quality on that stock is really nice. Uh, free floating barrel. You've got a, a three lug bolt, uh, three position safety. Yeah, a lot of people like the three position. Yeah, three position. You can unload without having to put safety. Exactly. You've got a, a two stage trigger, the monoblock itself for the receiver. That's it's all machined as, as one piece. Yep. There's an additional recoil lug in there as well, so to give uh, additional uh, strength into the action and the receiver. Um, it's a button rifled barrel, It'll be available in 20 inch and uh, 24 inches initially. The bolt is a one piece monoblock, still free lug uh, bolt with a 60 degree bolt throw. Magazine, three or five round detachable single row polymer magazine. So yeah, a real nice rifle and, and something we're excited to, to bring into the ATA range. A few different specs available, so that one's the green adjustable, you've also looks like you've got a black adjustable there, uh, laminate adjustable with a nice little polished bolt. Yep. And then a few light sort of orange and walnut ones as well. Yeah, so there's gonna be the options for everyone. We're basically. gonna to look to obviously we'll look to build the range. Initially we're gonna start with the uh, synthetic turquoise uh, in the uh, the green stock and in the in the black stock mm. and then we'll look to see more models start to come through. Yeah. yeah.
Brownie have launched the XS Dark Pro. 4,325 pounds worth of black action Ultra XS. Moves all right, not too bad. You can't hate Ultra XS, right? It's a great standard of gun. It's a solid, reliable action. Yeah, you're not going to go too far wrong. And now if you want it black, it's black. 32 inch barrels, multi chokes. It's everything an Ultra XS should be. Balancing weights, a million chokes with it. Oh, it comes triggers. with balancing weights. Yeah, well, for £4,000 you get them, for £2,000 on the plastic one, yeah, don't. What I find most interesting about this is that last year we saw the XT Pro get launched with a step up ribbon. I've spent a bit of time with that lovely gun. It came with laser checkered woodwork on a Browning for the first time ever. Second time ever. And now we've seen it on this. They've also then got it on the XPS Pro up top. I'm guessing this is the new normal. This is it. I don't know how I feel about it. It's more consistent, it's probably better, and in the world of efficiency, it probably keeps the price down a bit, but... It feels harsh in the hands to start with, but I think they all, over time, bet in a bit. So I've shot about 400 rounds through the XT. Even by the end of that, it just smoothed off a little. Because yeah. you're just looking at taking the points off with your rough, calloused, working man's hands. I mean, you can't hate it, right? They are yeah. just a great gun, a great tool. Now for 4,000 pounds, yeah. Closing thoughts, would you have one? Whoa. No. I'll say it for you. No. I wouldn't have one. Yeah. Uh, if I was spending £4,000, I'd buy the XT Pro. Yep. I really enjoyed shooting that. And if I was going for something like this, I... it's all personal preference. I don't like a plain gun. I... I do like the light engraving. I just think it looks better in silver. And some guns look great yep. in black. Um, we could name a few, but you could guess them. This is someone's taste though. Yeah, it's like the when they released the 525 Shadow. I know people who would love that gun. I think Browning's and Marook should be silver. Or oh, Case Color Harden. Or oh, gold. Oh, no. Oh. In fact, the black gold is really cool. I don't know, I'm just saying words right now. <laughs> it's just not for me. How can I help you? So, a lot of people think shooting steel with full choke is the end. But that's not the case, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. The prime example of that, what we've got here is a uh, Miraku MK38 trap you, gun. Use your fixed full and three quarter. Three quarter and four. Possibly a little bit tighter as well. Yeah. So what we can do, obviously, they bring it to the factory. We check the wall thicknesses. Yeah. Bore size. So then we work out both from the bore size to the outer diameter of the barrel. And then we can work out if we can multi-choke it. Yeah. So it's all about the wall thickness. If it's possible. If it's possible, yeah. yeah. So then what we do, um, we put it in a special machine. I'll call back later. And we work out the centers of the barrel. <clears throat> and then we work out the thread size. Yep. Yeah. What is good for the barrel. Yeah, it's um, it Yeah, because all guns have got different bore sizes. Yeah. So we make them individually to the bore size. Yeah. yeah. So. This is our normal uh, thin wall choke. It's an extended one. Flush we fit a lot for game shooters. Yeah. Extended chokes mainly for play, shoot. play shooters. The twiddlers, we like those guys. <clears throat> so we measure it and then in the machine, work out the thread size mm -hmm. and then off we go. Yeah. So we bore into the barrel to about 70 mil yep. up to a safety step. So what that is, from this end here, we put the cartridge in. Yep. So when you fire the cartridge, you've got the lead coming down here and you've got a very small lip. Yes. And then we've got this here on the choke, which is your leading edge of the choke, which is very, very delicate. If you ever drop one, you've obviously got to check it. Yeah. Easiest way to check is just run your nail around it to make sure there's no dense marks inside it. Because any lips or anything can <clears throat> any lips. Because if you fit that into there, into the bore, into yep. the thread, into the choking area, it's obviously screwing up to the safety step. Yes. So if you've got a small dent ridge, yeah. when you fire, you're going to get pickup of lead. And it can damage as well. Yeah. <clears throat> so then, Obviously, when we multi-choke it, we get every single gun proofed. Yes. So we send it to Birmingham Proof House with uh, proofing chokes or the customer's chokes. Oh, yeah. um, so we know exactly that they're safe for the gun. If we just have a look here. So what we got here is the date it was um, sent for proof. You've got the CIP fleur-de-lis. 
uh, for high performance steel. It's obviously got the crest of CIP, the crest of Birmingham Proof House. Yeah. So we know when we've multi choked a gun, yeah. it's safe to use. Yeah, that gun will take yeah. steel. That as long gun as will take the, as long steel. As long as you use the right choke. Yeah, correct. Obviously, we recommend um, up to quarter choke for high performance steel, yeah. up to half choke for standard steel. Yeah. But if you're going to use any larger loads, a more open choke is recommended. Generally more open. Yeah, just for safety. Because if you think those big steel shot, yeah. <clears throat> it's causing a lot of pressure. Before there's your choking area, but yeah. then you've got area before the choking area, yeah. which where the pressures build up. Mm. So we're, what we're trying to do make a nice transition from the barrel to the choking area, nice and smooth, make it flow. So there's no restriction. Yeah. And who does the best chokes in the world? Of course, Teague do the best chokes in the world. Yeah. Obviously, we make them individually for the barrels when we yeah. do our thin wall, which give a really good pattern. And obviously, our chokes are tapered from one end to the other, which keeps it nice, symmetrical, and everything on the centre of the pattern. Also, we're not just limited to over and unders. And side by new, sides as well. And side by sides as well. Yeah. So obviously we can do new guns, obviously, yeah. and then side by sides. People are a bit scared about shooting steel through lead. Yeah. Side by sides, personally, we're recommending standard steel. We yeah. wouldn't put high performance through them. A lot the of, reason why... A lot of walls are too thin, probably? Wall thickness is too, sm too thin on early guns. Yeah. Obviously, we don't, know, we don't know what metal was used in the early days. Yeah for multi-choking. And also, what's keeping the, the barrels on the action, we call that on the face. Mm. And if you shoot a lot of steel, that will come off the face. Yeah. So you get a lot of movement, and then you get a lot of recoil, mm. and eventually, you've got a loop under there, it will break off. Yeah. So our recommendation is standard steel. Obviously, a lot of the newer models now coming through are all built yeah. sturdy like and, and, and stuff. Yes, they're all built yeah. as like Beretta three 486 are brilliant yeah. so but they've also lengthened the choking area in a lot of the modern guns yeah. as well so that flow from the chamber to the barrel to the choking area it's more is gradual gradual and yeah. smoother yeah yeah and just like that the day was nearly over we didn't cover half of it nowhere it near on. and we have not stopped no. well me and michael haven't it was full on it was full on. Well, just because I was done in my Arab Yeah, we didn't you. get a bit of gin. But it was been a brilliant show, and there's, we, there's still plenty to see for the rest of the weekend that we Lucky haven't made it round to. we got two more days. Exactly. Very full on. Very full. Unfortunately, at this point, Sasha's going to go home and make this into a film so it can go out at the end of the show for those that missed out. Well, guys, I have enjoyed today. It's been good fun, and with our little guest, Bruce, wherever he's disappeared to, it's been fun. It's been I a good day. I have enjoyed season two of the Gun Review. Yeah. yeah. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching series two of the gun review and thanks to all of the British Shooting Show staff. Everyone, just being a giant family. family. Yeah, it's a giant. Every we always say that about John and Annie every year. But actually, everyone just looks up. Yeah. beyond them, right? Oh, you know, massive. Everyone who makes this a reality is just special. Yeah. Yeah. Even you, mate. Lloyd is special. Guys, take care. Have a great year. See you on the next one. See you later. Thank you for watching guys. This channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors. You can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you wanna support the channel, you can join as a member. You get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.